Hi there, this is Andre. I am a licensed loan officer in California and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel where I explain mortgages and real estate related uh, concepts. Today, I'd like to explain one of the most commonly under misunderstood concepts in real estate, the escrow account. Get ready to become an expert. So what exactly is an escrow account? Imagine it as a neutral holding place for money during a real estate transaction. It's like a financial referee ensuring that all parties involved play by the rules and that funds are handled securely. When you're buying a home, you'll typically encounter an escrow account. It's often managed by a third-party company like a title company, escrow company, or an attorney. This account acts as a safeguard protecting both the buyer and the seller. Now let's break it down step by step. Once you and the seller agree on the terms of the transaction, including the purchase price and any contingencies such as inspections or repairs, you'll enter into a contract. As part of the contract, you'll agree to deposit certain funds into an escrow account. This includes your earnest money deposit and additional funds for closing costs or repair. Now, we did a, a video on earnest money deposits before and you can watch it here. The purpose of the escrow account is to provide a central location where the money is held until all conditions of the contract are met. It ensures that the buyer has the necessary funds and it gives the seller peace of mind knowing that the buyer is financially committed to the transaction. While the funds are in escrow account, they are held securely by the third party company. This prevents any party from accessing the money prematurely or misusing it. It adds an extra layer of protection and build trust in the transaction. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The escrow account also plays a crucial role in coordinating the closing process. Once all conditions and requirements of the contracts are fulfilled, such as inspections, repairs, loan approval, the escrow officer will release funds to appropriate parties. The funds dispersed from the escrow account will go towards the seller's proceeds, paying off any outstanding mortgages, real estate commissions, and other closing costs. The buyer's funds, such as down payment, the earnest money deposit, and any additional costs will also be dispersed. By using an escrow account, you can have a peace of mind knowing that the financial aspects of the transaction are handled securely and transparently. It ensures a smooth and fair exchange of funds for both parties involved. Whether you're buying or selling a home, understanding an escrow account is essential. It protects your financial interest and ensures a successful real estate transaction. Well, that's a wrap on our crash course on escrow accounts. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions uh, or want to learn more about real estate or mortgages, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. I'll be happy to respond uh, to your comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.